Jordan Morgan lads and lassies and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's plan is talking about how you can tie any water skier wakeboard rope to any boat. So whether it's a used boat like this, a rib like that, if it's a six centurion or it's even just a jet ski. How do you tie it on? How do you do the obvious knots? But then how do you do those customizable lengths? So for example, I ride usually about 72 and a half foot on a centurion, but then on a boat like this, it might only be 55 feet. And this rope shortest length is actually 60 feet. So I have to make a special knot to go on this. So my biggest question to you is, first of all, what rope length do you ride? If you don't know, I'm actually gonna do a video very, very soon on finding the perfect length behind any boat and kind of some tricks and tips for that. But for now, let's talk about the different knots and how to set them up on whatever boat it is. Okay, so knot number one is the obvious one. On the end of the rope, any ski or wakeboard rope comes with one of these, the little loop. And many people think that you just pop it over and off they go and that probably is okay. But just in case, my advice is to loop it through around itself and then around that way as pressure gets pulled on it it will get tighter and tighter number two is when you get a rope for example my wakeboard rope i think it's about 80 or 85 feet long but i rarely ever wakeboard that long in fact no one really does so often you want to use one of the shorter attachments so this rope comes in five foot extensions so if i go in here to let's say 75 foot and i want to put it on the tower again you probably can loop it but i really 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 actually don't advise that you want to put itself through like that now very often this happens a lot where basically someone loops it through from the wrong way the driver goes and the rope falls off the tower so top tip is to go in through from the end that the rider's on so the rest of the rope is out behind you loop it around the tower and off you go at number three now this is the real secret sauce the one that a lot of people don't know how to do so let's say for example the adjustments on your handle from factory or your rope aren't exactly where you want it so you want to make a custom length what do you do so in my right hand which is your left side this is where the rider is going to be pulled from and this is the extra bit of rope so what you want to do is you want to loop it like this and you want to go around and then this is very key you want to go under and over and that knot will never come loose however do bear in mind that on a rope like this where it's kind of you've got a little bit of almost like a plastic covering it will eventually get a little bit damaged unfortunately that's kind of like a side effect but as we know side effects are a bit of everything but um yes yeah, so that is how to tie it on let's say a wakeboard tower a pylon like this or even one of the kind of ski hatches that come out of a lot of boats but i know a lot of people have towing ice so really quickly i'm going to show you how to tie a rope onto a towing high towing towing my england's just all over the place today <laughs> Okay, number three, When uh, where am I getting number three from? Anyway, basically if you've got one of these towing hooks and you don't have the luxury of a pylon or a tower or whatever it is, a lot of people I see just looping it like that. Now that is a little bit sketchy, I would avoid it. If anything, if you're gonna put it on the end, again, just use the old fashioned loop around itself, in around that, pulls it tight. Can make it a little bit hard to get off, but it will work. Now the other one is, let's say you're making a custom length. The same rule applies. Now there is other ways to do this, I do disclaim, but this is the easiest one in my opinion. You basically loop it a little bit like that. You go, it's hard, it's a little bit more fiddly, but it's a lot more fiddly actually. You loop it around, you go under, and there you go, in like that. And as I said before, it might damage your rope ever so slightly, but I would prefer to have a slightly damaged rope over a long period of time than having the wrong length because better to damage the rope than your knees and your body and everything when you crash casing the wake. Last thing I want to talk about is how to make your rope look fresh. So obviously, as we all know, ropes tangle. So when you're pulling in a rope, now this one's brand new, it's fresh. Big thank you to O'Brien for that. But basically one tip I actually always say is throw your rope out that way the wrong way and then to curl it in or to pull it in you'll see a lot of people now it is i'm actually going to demonstrate you'll see people go like this that stresses me out i'm not going to lie so here is how to do it you want to grab your handle you want to loop it the rope will naturally particularly when it's fresh it will naturally loop in this particular way so basically actually smaller the loop the better so if you do massive big ones like that you're more likely to get a weird knot so get a little loop small in turn it in so look what i'm doing with my fingers 
We're going in, turning it, and loop. In, turning it, and loop. And basically you just do that for like 85 feet and you've got a perfect rope. I'm not gonna bother doing it on the rest on, on TV. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Bit of a random video, but hopefully it helps you because so often when I've been abroad and I've been coaching and then I'm like, oh, we'll just shorten the rope in. They're like, no, that's as short as my rope goes. And I'm like, oh, we'll just make a knot. And then people are like, how have I never known that? So hopefully it helps you. In the very, very near future, I'm gonna talk about finding your perfect rope length and perfect boat speed. So definitely stay tuned for that one, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and um, have fun on the water at the perfect rope length. I'm gonna be here for the next 25 minutes doing this. This is the thing about like water sports. It takes a lot of time.